Hi guys, back here getting ready to do a haul video of sorts um, and a little bit of an update and hopefully uh, go around the room and check out my new lights but wanted to give you guys an update on these Ecto ones I've been working on which who knows when you'll see the video for it but um, you guys ever just have one of those projects that just kicks your butt um, that is this Ecto 1A um, Man, I'm just, I'm just getting irritated. Um, I don't know what the issue is, but I'm just, the Ecto-1 went fine. And this is just one of those projects that just takes it out of you, makes you not want to do it anymore. So this is the second, I'm going to end up having to sand this for a second time. Um, everything went fine when I resanded and put the, uh, white on, but whenever I hit it with clear, it started cracking up here, which that's fine. I don't care. Um, it bugs me, but not as much as this. Um, if you can see, let me see here if I can zoom in. I got crackle. Okay. Those toenails are sharp, buddy. You can get up here. Um, and then I've lost all my clear coat on the roof. Um, but this is the worst. Um, yeah, that a lot of that is my fault. Um, but I don't know what's going on with the paint. Um, I mean, it just instantly crackled. The humidity is fine in my house. The temp's fine in my house. Um, I mean, they were. I was just spotting it. So, I mean, I wasn't doing a full coverage on it. Uh, the only thing I can think of is that I put too thick of a clear coat on it, but I, I hit it pretty light. Um, anyway, I'm going to end up having to sand this thing down again. And, uh, man, this is, this is a project I thought, you know, a uh, couple days, you know, mainly waiting on the paint to dry, but this has just been painting this stupid thing. has just been a nightmare and it's really taken it out of me. Um, Oh, man, this thing's bugging me. And now I gotta wait on the paint to dry again so I can sand it because you can't freaking sand it whenever it's wet. Which is, I don't know. I don't know how long you're supposed to wait before you're supposed to sand it, but I know it should be at least hard and dry. But that is my irritation. Here, dude, if you want up here, get up here. Um, did get a new chrome pen now and a cat um so up first i was looking over my uh my what i thought was my complete technodrome and for some reason i'm missing the tv screen i swore it was in there um because i had a sticker on it but when I looked the other day, it's not. So I don't know if I dropped it somewhere or what happened the last time I had it out. But anyway, I ended up getting a new one just because I don't know what happened to mine. So this is a little TV screen for the Technodrome. And then there's a box of 3D printed Ecto-1 parts that we're not going to go into. But if you look over here, you can see a preview of a cat butt and of the Ecto-1 custom that I'm building. And I picked this up at Goodwill. Um, I thought it was complete. It's missing the first disc, unfortunately. I just opened it up and looked and thought I could seen four discs. And unfortunately, I'm missing the first disc. So, it's two bucks. What are you going to do? And then I picked up Death Note for a friend. I didn't realize these seasons. I don't watch a whole lot of anime, but first season's only four episodes. What's up with that? That's weird. Anyway. Um, get into some good stuff here. Alright. So, first up, I got this. The Coming Out of Their Shells official tour guide. Um... And then I got some of the tour bags. So I just thought that was kind of cool. Got 
two of those. And so here's what is in here. A little comic book. Um, and it's a poster. So... It's a double-sided poster. Um, I won't open it. Then, show you this, because I've already got one. Um, got another Megatron. Um, I don't know why. Uh, I really want to get a masterpiece, so I shouldn't have bought a second one of these, but I really want to open one. And I'm, I'm one of those people, if I open one, I really want one in the box, especially if it's a figure I really like. And this is one I really like, except for the purples. I felt like the purples are kind of off. Um, in robot mode. Dino mode, I think, looks pretty damn good, but robot mode looks a little odd. Um, anyway. Um, getting to a... Man, a lot of this stuff I already got. Um, so this, I already have one. Um, and apparently he does not work. supposed to be able to push on this button here and his mouth opens up but it is not one to work it'll stay open but I cannot push it so the button must be messed up anyway the reason I got this was I seen someone online do a custom uh, Beast Wars Megatron out of one and I thought you know what that seems like a great idea so I went ahead and grabbed one for the hell of it Then, apparently everything in this haul I've already got one of. Um, oh, please don't be broke. Please don't be broke. Alright, I don't think you're broke. Although, with my luck, you may be by the time I'm done. Fiddly shit. And you, my friend, are fiddly as fuck. got the spawn figure here i have this guy in box um he's a lot less fiddly when he's in the box um i do like that that you can kind of rotate this guy um yeah anyway this is the flying spawn um, I don't know. He's pretty cool. He's a little dusty. He needs a bath. That's for sure. And with any spawn product, if you leave it out, it'll uh, pretty much start looking like this. Um, I don't have any cleaning things around me. Do I? Oh, all right. This is definitely not my highest energy video. Um, I'm not going to pull up the rest of the lamp. You guys know what a lamp looks like. This is just the shade that goes through it. So I got a Ninja Turtle lamp. Uh, 
And then I got this uh, G.I. Joe Transformers. And when you open it up, you get uh, Transformers keychain, some pins, and a sticker. There's Megatron and Duke in there. Um, all right. And we got a Beast Wars Transmetal 2 Optimus Minor. Not really much of a transformation on this guy, if I remember right. But he was one I did not have. I don't think I have him loose or carded. Um, Alright. Then I got this Bebop plush. And this, I don't usually buy plushes, but that Bebop sold me. Um, and they're pretty good size. Like you can see, it's the uh, biggest things on my table here. Um, really? I know exactly what you're going to do. You're going to come over here, and that spawn's going to be on the ground. So you can come on by that, buddy. <sighs> All right. You know what? Let me pause this for a second. Let's... Okay. So I did find the Cowabunga Carl Van. Excuse me. These things really gone up in price because everyone wants to use them to either make a NECA style news van or a turtle van out of them, which is pretty well perfect for them. Um, this one, unfortunately, is missing the door over here. So maybe I'll find the door one day. But these things are you used to be able to buy them for 10 bucks, and now they're starting to hit 100 So I thought this head was removable, but it does something. Because I can feel a mechanism. So... Must. Oh, it shoots pizza out of here. So I bet. Yep, that's how. So you put your pizzas in there, and they shot out the front when you put it back on the head. So. Then, um, you're not going to be able to see this probably all in frame, so but I'll show it to you. Um, so I got this He-Man Masters of the Universe, um, pinball machine. Um, I'll show you the rest of it here in a sec, but this one obviously needs some work. I'm probably gonna have to re rewire this thing, and if it goes as good as the Ecto, it'll look like total garbage, and I will have screwed everything up on it, too. So, that's how things have been going. Um... The only issue I find with this is going to be finding the feet. But here's the... I'm trying to pull it back so you can see. So you got Beastman, Zodiac, Man-at-Arms, Tila, uh, Triclops over here, Battle Cat, Merman, Castle Grayskull, Stratos. Got the whole gang there. Um, apparently it lights up and makes noise and stuff and has a count the counter actually works um that's metal back there so it must be printed on metal um yeah it's gonna be fun 
Um, freeing that up is going to be... I think I'm going to have to get a lot, rid of a lot of rust on that spring. So I'm going to have to stick that in a, a bath somewhere with the ball. Um, but it doesn't have enough power to... Even if it's laying relatively flat. Yeah, I guess it does. But yeah. We'll see if we can make that look a little bit better. I know that it's got a crack. Nope, maybe not. It is relatively crack free. Oh, right there. So I don't think there's anything I'll be able to do for that crack. But maybe we can get the rest of this thing cleaned up. We'll see. That'll be a future screw up, I mean project. Um, all right. Before I get into the two last big things I got. Um, I did finally find RC, so I have all of these now so far. Um, here's here's my issue with this is see how it's got this gauntlet with this thingy on it? Um, where it's supposed to look like energon or blood from a transformer or whatever. They're not painted. It's supposed to be this collar and translucent, but mine aren't. So, are yours? Let me know. Um, cool figure. Uh, it's kind of shot up in price, because I guess they were, weren't coming out, but now that they've hit stores, I imagine the price is going to come back down on them. I can't imagine she's anyone's like ultimate must-have. Um, Alright. Since this isn't necessarily new, and I've had one. So this is my replacement Timback Leonardo. If you've seen a post I did a while back where I screwed up a box on one, uh, let it get too close to a heat source. Um, this is the one that's in that great of shape. It was just one that um, was in the price range of what I wanted to spend is for a Timback Leonardo. Um, he is starting to frost, so... Um, I might stick him under UV light and see if that helps. Uh, I know it needs to be warm to get rid of that frosting. But you don't want him to do what I did on my last Leonardo and melt the plastic. So there's a fine line between melting the plastic and getting it just hot enough to where it starts to frost. Um, and it's literally a matter of seconds before uh, it's one or the other. So, um, yeah, there is not a real good way that I found to get rid of the frosting on these. Toy ploy shows where you put a lamp over it and it does not work that I found. Uh, or it gets way too hot and melts plastic. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm happy to have at least a replacement in my collection for now. Um, if I could do something about the frosting, that'll be fine. But if not, I don't really care at this point. So... <laughs> um. Next thing, again, it's pretty big, so I got the Playmobil Firehouse. Um, I've been wanting this set for a while, and wouldn't you know my luck that as soon as I buy it, it finally shows up. Uh, one pops up on Facebook, cheaper than the new one, with all the stuff, with the Ecto-1, and the Stay Puffed for cheaper than what I paid for this one. I was tempted to return this one and drive, but it's it's an hour and a half there, so it's about a three-hour round trip. And really, the only thing I'm gaining is it's forty-five bucks. This was fifty-five bucks, so you know, I'm saving ten bucks, but I'm basically getting an extra Ecto One and Stay Puffed. I don't care about the Stay Puffed, so the only reason I'd get it is for the extra Ecto, and the only reason I'd get that is for the um, roof rack for another project I'm working on. Um, so I just decided to say to hell with it and just keep the new one. So um, I think that is everything in my haul. I got a bunch of Mega Bloks figures, but I already put them away. So one of these days when I pull out my Mega Bloks, I'll show uh, the figures from that. Um, yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the... Oh, shit. I was wanting to show you guys my lights. All right. Give me one second here, okay? Um, okay, so... 
There's the room. And there's the displays with the lights on. So, try to get in here a little bit closer here. So, I think it looks quite a bit better. Um, I still need to figure out a better way for... When you look at the video, right, in this section is a lot darker. And then I still need to find a way to fix... All the lighting over there. Um, but as far as the detoffs, I'm pretty happy with them. Um, at least those over there. And then... Uh, the Transformers definitely look quite a bit better. Here, I'm going to pull you guys off. I still need to get one more light up here because the one I had, it didn't work. So all I did was get a bunch of these little cheap lights from Five Below, put some good batteries in them, and I got one remote that controls everything. So I guess that's supposed to be the dimmer. Whoops. So, yep. I just got a little clip over here. Since I have like 17 of those remotes, I'm not too concerned with them. But anyway, um, that is what's going on in my world. What is going on in yours? Bye.